Hi guys, so I am currently on my way into Central Tokyo to meet a friend and hang out for the day and I thought I would vlog. So, welcome to my world. No, okay. See you in a bit, bye. I am here with Maya at Tokyo Station. <laughs> we are currently starving and so we decided to get some curry. So we are at this, I don't know the name of the place, do you know the name? Oh, it's called Curry Shop Alps. <laughs> we are at this place called Curry Shop Alps and we got some really good food, right? I got chicken, cutlet, curry, and Maya got pork, what'd you get? Pork katsu. Mm, how do you like it? Yes. Yeah, it's very good. Thumbs up. Okay. So we're going to eat this food and check. Did you swear on your thing? So we are going. <laughs> no, I try to be a good girl. Um, <laughs> so we are going to eat this good stuff and check in with you later. <laughs> hey everybody, made it to Yumenoshima and we are going to the greenery dome. But first, we just wanted to give you a little conclusion about the curry shop that we went to. So I thought the curry was really great. It was very, very filling, um, but it was good. And it was like really cheap. It was like $5.70 for that big, big bowl. We didn't eat it all. How did you like your pork cutlet? Thumbs up, thumbs up, smiley face, smiley face, good shit. <laughs> I think she really liked it. <laughs> but yeah, so we're on our way. Um, and we just gotta figure out how to get to this place. It's so hot. It is burning up, which I'm pretty upset about because it's been really cool for the past few days. And it's been such a great break from Japan's humidity, which is disgusting, pretty much. So, my arm is like beginning to kill me. So I'm gonna stop. It is so loud. <laughs> oh, we can follow the signs. Follow the signs. Okay, so we are currently walking through the loudest trees and bushes. <laughs> it looks like it's a straight path. To, oh, look at the totem pole. Are these palm trees? They look like palm trees. <laughs> so nice. Look at this. This is super cute. Okay, so we are walking in this amazing park and we smell awesome incense. There may be like a temple around here because I know that they burn incense at the temples. Ooh, this is too bad. Maya's playing Pokemon Go and she is like, she is really into it. I guess since we're at the park, it's like a great spot for her to catch Pokemon. I don't have the game. So let me know in the comments if you play Pokemon, if you think I should also play Pokemon Go. Um, I don't know anything about Pokemon except for just pressing the buttons on the Game Boys to get some sort of reaction. <laughs> yeah, but we are finally here at the dome. So we're here at the greenhouse dome and it looks pretty beautiful. Look at the grounds. Yes, can't wait to go inside and check out the good stuff. We also got a cute little guide and it's in English. So let's get it. Oh, look at the cute little animals in the walkway. Oh my God, I 
Oh my god, I want to go over there! Magical. I was expecting it to be a bit more muggy. I'm loving that waterfall. <sighs> oh, super cool. <gasps> Watch out. I only got my birthday on. to get my picture taken over there. This is like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie Baby Genius, Geniuses, but remember, Maya, have you ever seen that movie Baby Geniuses? And they were in this, I feel like we're in a portion of that movie. That super layer. Yeah, where they had the little like gate theme park inside like this huge dome. Oh, can you imagine at the night? It's probably so beautiful. Beautiful. I just want you to know that my favorite girl. This Tiki house is giving, Tiki hut is giving me life right now. Look at that. Which way do you want to go? This way. This is the regular route. So we're just gonna go up these steps. Ooh, watch your step. Oh, wow, ooh, pretty. This is so cute. They have the tallest palm trees in here. So we're walking, oh they have durian, oh my god. So we're walking along the greenhouse and we see some, some edibles here. That is cacao, so it's cocoa. We could totally take one and maybe try to make some chocolate. Um, also there are these little bread things. Don't know what that is. Don't know if it's like a fruit. Oh my god, did you see the pineapples? Is that a pineapple or is it durian? Oh, it's a pineapple. Oh my god. Look, guys. There's some pineapples here. And then over here in this corner, well, not in the corner, there's durian, which are like, which is the, the smelliest. smelliest <laughs> but it's native to Thailand and I love it. Yes. So I have tried durian and. I've tried durian and I can tell you for a fact that it is pretty funky but it's also not very sweet for it to be a fruit. I feel like if something's gonna be disgusting like that in terms of smell it should also taste really good and durian for me does not taste it really good. It does taste pretty good. <laughs> I am Thai. I know. Oh my things. she knows. I'm like I don't. It's slimy. Yeah. Are these? Look at the um, bees. Whoa. Look at the animals. No, I've never uh, seen them. Birds of paradise? But upon something that looks like bananas. But wait, I think these are bana like banana leaves or something. So maybe they're bananas or plantains. I wish there was a sign. Okay, we are now in Ueno Park. 
Um, and apparently they have a ton of museums here. Um, and there's a zoo here. I'm probably gonna come back and look at the museums. I'm so excited to check them out. I haven't been to a museum since I've been here. But right now we are looking through the mar the market. Okay, we are now in Ueno Park. Um, and apparently they have a ton of museums here. Um, and there's a zoo here. I'm probably gonna come back and look at the museums. I'm so excited to check them out. I haven't been to an a museum since I've been here. But right now we are looking through the mar the market. And you realize there's actually water underneath these plants. These are lily pads, I believe. Look how big they are. When you stumble upon koi fish and turtles and pigeons in a pond, isn't that crazy? Hey everyone, so yesterday my SD card battery was full, so I could not vlog anymore on my big camera so it pretty much <laughs> the video pretty much ended abruptly there but after that we went to get some oh after that we after the visit at the temple we went to ride on swans which is really cool and it was like sort of gave my crotch a burning sensation because of the pedaling so it was my first time doing that and it was really cool. <laughs> it was nice. I'll probably do it again. Maybe somewhere else. I don't know. We are currently in a swan boat. Oh my god, <laughs> it's so fun. Yeah, we have a cute swan with a bow. We went to Asakusa, which is, I think, the name or the location of the Sinsoji Temple, which is a really big temple. <laughs> In Tokyo we didn't stop at her or anything um, because Maya had been there already and uh, our goal was to go get ice cream at the place near the temple um, but I'll probably go back and check it out it looked massive um, so that was really nice and then we went to this ice cream place ice cream place called Suzukien Suzukien Asakusa Hanten which boasts the strongest flavor matcha um, ice ice cream and I'm not a big fan of matcha uh, and it ranges in taste from one to seven and they also had like different flavors of gelato so I got the one matcha uh, the one one level flavored matcha and strawberry gelato and it was really good I actually liked the matcha it wasn't too it wasn't too like gross um it was actually really it wasn't too earth tasting i feel like the problem with matcha for me is that it tastes like dirt and i'm not a big fan of that so i got the one level matcha and it was really good and it still had that matcha taste but it wasn't overpowering uh i, I tried maya's she got the level seven one and you know just to be adventurous see what it tastes like it was not good to me I did not like it so yeah maybe you have to like work your way up to a seven if you don't like matcha 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna stick with one for now and probably go back again. Yeah, it was good. And then after that, we headed back to Tokyo Station because Maya had to catch the bus back home. And I went off to have dinner because by that time, after the ice cream, and I was ready to eat um, dinner. So I discovered that there was this new, like, Cuban, Mexican place that opened up in Shibuya. Uh, it was off of Shibuya, though, like, in Daikanyama, I think that's the name of the place. And anyway, well, that's the name of the neighborhood. Uh, and, but I went to this place called Cafe Habana, which has, like, Cuban sandwiches and also, like, other food I got the really great I got the really great grilled corn and a cubano sandwich like half size the Cuban sandwich was fine not my favorite but I got it because I missed those like toasty sam toasted um toasted sandwiches I haven't had them in a while they mostly have like cold sandwiches here like egg and stuff but I really like I really miss the Cuban sandwiches um the grilled corn was really good it was like mexican style grilled corn so it had like the chili powder and like the cheese on top of it um so and the corn was sweet so it was like a good like combination of flavors and i'll probably go back there yeah that was pretty much my evening i have some clips from snapchat that i'll probably post at the end of this um but yeah that's pretty much it okay i will see you next time bye guys <laughs>